Japan, a country so rich in history and culture, it has charmed the entire world with its avant-garde stance in life, architecture, technology, culinary, tradition, entertainment. These are only some of what captured people worldwide. Though even with our technological advances in logistics, outsiders like me sometimes still find it hard to import certain products. Thankfully, there are a few specialized services that offer just that. And if you're a snacks and sweets person, then I think you'll like today's video because we will be taking a detailed and honest look at Tokyo Treat. Disclaimer, the snack box in the video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat, but I can be honest and say whatever I want, so I'll try my best to be fair and unbiased. And look what we have here, a Tokyo Treat box. If you know them, you're probably about to close this video thinking this is just another taste test. That's what I planned to do initially, but because that's pretty much what everyone else is doing, I'd like to try something different. First, I'ma make sure everyone's on the same page. For the uninitiated, Tokyo Treat is a subscription service that sends you 15 to 20 kinds of pre-selected snacks from Japan. They range from Japanese exclusive drinks, instant ramen, rare Kit Kat party packs, crunchy chips and salty snacks, crazy Japanese candies, as well as cakes, cookies, and breads. Basically, the items they send you are either seasonal or just simply hard to find outside of Japan. They're a global service, so anyone from around the world can order from them. And for those concerned with certain ingredients due to health issues, they also provide a complete allergen info. So from the videos I've watched, other reviewers made their witty and funny comments on the snacks. But I noticed no one really answered the question if it's worth it. Are they worth paying 30 something dollars each month plus shipping? Stay a while cause we'll be looking at the prices of each individual item and determine if you'll be saving money or if there are other alternatives. This box is supposed to be for December 2021 and I should have made this video last month. So I'm really really sorry Tokyo Treat. For the entirety of December, we had to take care of a family member. So it was only now that I had the time to do this video. Anyway, moving on, let's see what's inside. If I remember correctly, we're supposed to have 17 items here. Besides the neat customized packaging, it comes with a booklet containing information on the included snacks, as well as fun trivia about the month or the season the package is intended for. Since this is a Japanese publication, you start at the back. Here's the front page, and on the first page inside is a short message from the Tokyo Treat crew. On the other side is a trivia on why strawberry is the main flavor for December. Next page, we have a menu of all the included products in the box. A photo of each item with a short description about them on the side. Next up, we have a page detailing an ongoing photo contest they have. And over here are more trivia regarding Christmas in Japan. Finally, on the back page of the booklet is a collage of featured patrons along with the social media handles of Tokyo Treat. Let's now check the actual contents. The way we'll do this is I'll pick one item, read its flavor text on the booklet, and then tell you how much it is if you're going to buy it individually. The individual prices will be based on sites like Japan Hall, Japan Candy Store, and 24 Japanese Candy. First up, we have Calpis Strawberries and Cream. With some major Japanese Christmas cake vibes, a tasty lactic-based beverage filled with plenty of sweet and sour strawberry and creamy condensed milk flavor. This is $5 per bottle at Japan Hall. Kit Kat Milk Tea, a winter exclusive from Kit Kat Japan. Inside the cozy looking packaging, cream filled wafers are wrapped in delicious milk tea flavored chocolate. This is $7 per pack of 11 at Japan Hall. Pokemon Christmas Party Snacks. It's a Pokemon Christmas party and you're invited. Snack out with your favorite Pokemon with Pikachu shaped Koho Corn Puffs. This is $5 at Japan Hall. Premium Omaibo Mozzarella and Camembert Cheese Flavor The holidays are the perfect time for a rich snack. This Omaibo is perfect for lovers of cheese with its creamy and addictive flavor. This is $1 at Japan Hall. Cory's Cola Foam Ramoon Candy Get a sweet winter sugar rush with sweet and fizzy cola foam. The addictive cola ramoon candy will help foam up and melt in your mouth. This is $1 at 24 Japanese Candy. Pocky Winter Caramel The rich flavor of the salted caramel mixed with the buttery flavor of pretzel creates an unmissable crunchy winter exclusive pocky treat. This is $6 at Japan Hall. Calbi Luxury Chocolate Potato Chips Crispy, crunchy, chocolatey, rich, crinkle-cut Calbi chips will give your Christmas snack time plenty of salty and sweet crunch. This is $3 at Japan Hall. Tohato Christmas Caramel Corn White Milk Not everyone will get a snowy holiday period, but you'll get a winter escape with tasty and fluffy caramel corn, infused with plenty of creamy milk syrup. This is $4 at Japan Candy Store. 
Chocolate Omaiba Christmas Edition. Wishing you a Merry Christmas this year is Omaiba. The corn snack coated in chocolatey goodness, perfect for a Christmas crunch. This is $1 at Japan Hall. Christmas New Mochi Taro. Thinking of what to leave out for Santa this year? Who got you? Inside the cute limited edition pack is mini crunchy and salty arari crackers that make a great light snack. This is $1 at Japan Hall. Yao King Christmas Fugashi Brown Sugar Snack Set. Filled with plenty of childhood memories for people in Japan, this classic light brown sugar puff comes in a cute Christmas limited edition design. This is 50 cents at Japan Candy Store. Yao Kin Sankaku Crackers Vegetable. After snacking out on plenty of sweets during the holidays, you need a balance. These salty triangle crackers are filled with veggie flavor for a savory snack break. $1.50 at Japan Candy Store. Yaokin Pandara Butter Cookie Melon. Snack cute during this holiday period. This cookie has a super cute panda design that makes it too cute to eat. Almost. The refreshing melon is a must try. This is $1.50 at Japan Candy Store. Choco Waffle Kun. Nothing is better than a hot breakfast on a chilly winter morning. We're giving you a taste of Japanese breakfast any time of the day. Snack on this mini choco coated waffle. $1 at Japan Hall. Chi beans. Edamame beans are a popular snack to share during holiday parties and gatherings of friends in Japan. We are giving you a tasty take on edamame with this bean inspired crunchy snack. 70 cents at Japan Hall. Cocoa Bolo. Get cozy while it's cold outside and pair these crispy and rich mini cocoa bites with your favorite hot drink to really bring out the flavor. This is 70 cents at Japan Hall. Aji Cheese. Finishing off this month's snack buffet is Aji Cheese, the light and tasty Japanese cheese puffs that will make any holiday snack time a little extra cheesy. This is 70 cents at Japan Hall. That wraps up Tokyo Treats December 2021 box. Summing up the price of each individual item, we arrive at a grand total of 40.6 US dollars. If we take a look at the prices of Tokyo Treat, they have 4 tiers. If you want it per month, it's 37.5 dollars. If you want to lock in 3 months or every quarter, it's 35.5 dollars per month. For 6 months or half a year, it's $33.5 per month. And if you're gonna subscribe for a full year, it'll be $32.5 per month. Again, $40.6 US dollars if you're going to buy each item individually. So that means even at the lowest tier of Tokyo Treat, which is $37.5 US dollars, you'll still be saving money. Here's a quick pros and cons list between availing the subscription service versus just buying them individually. One con is you're stuck with pre-selected items. If there are snacks you don't want, they're still gonna be part of your package. But I guess that can also be a pro if you want the convenience of having the items selected for you, especially if you're not familiar with Japanese products. Believe it or not, certain items may be available in your area, like in local mini-marts, boutique shops, and convenience stores that carry Asian products. It's rare, but there's a chance. If they are indeed available locally, then it would be a waste of money paying for the shipping cost, right? If they're not, then lucky you, you get to eat a treat no one else in your area can. One pro is you'll save more money the longer you are subscribed. So if money is an issue, then this is something to consider. Since Tokyo Treat specializes in providing you with the latest and rarest seasonal items, you definitely won't miss out on them. Whereas if you're there to buy individually, unless you're updated in the snacking industry, you won't know what you're looking for. This is all I could think of for the meantime, but if you have a few more to add in the pros and cons of subscribing to Tokyo Treat, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. So in summary, Tokyo Treat is worth it if you're in it for the convenience and novelty of having to enjoy rare and unique Japanese treats. They do the legwork of compiling the best snacks for you in each and every month and then presenting them in a neat box with a booklet full of trivia. You'll also save money too compared to just buying them individually. And just to be clear, it's not a mystery box. You can view the actual contents of the box per month in their website. Like for this January, you have the Kit Kat Cafe Ole or Coffee with Milk flavor, the Fluffy Custard Tayaki Set, Mega Patchy Energy Drink, Mr. Tanoki Spicy Tonkatsu Flavor Cup Ramen, and so on. And I gotta say, that ramen is looking really yummy. So after this and that, will I subscribe to Tokyo Treat? Uh, I have to be honest, personally, I don't see myself subscribing to their service simply because I'm not that much of a snack person. And truth be told, I really don't have the luxury of spending $30 each month for treats. I don't even spend that much for snacks to begin with. But hey, to each our own, they definitely have something going on here. The service has a unique value proposition. It's not hard to see why people have been subscribed to them for years. Looking back on their previous boxes these past months, I do see a lot of stuff that look delicious and those that I would definitely love to try. 
Tokyo Treat, ladies and gents. If their yummy snacks catch your attention, go visit their website at tokyotreat.com. You can check over there what they're gonna be up to for the rest of 2022. If you've reached up to this point, then thanks for watching, as always. This is goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next one.